intro never gets old to me. Okay, let's start the mission to bring Chrono back. Let's play the game. The better I do, the less money he charges for the doll. I'm not very good at this game. Just for full disclosure, I'm kind of meh to bleh at it. But even if I can do it, you can do it. Mimic what you see. X. I totally hit the wrong button. Dang it. I suck at it. <laughs> yeah, I just suck at it. <laughs> Let's try. Alright. every time you beat this guy. And I need 40.
Let's try it again. <laughs> Try it again. Left. Okay, yeah, I went dyslexic. Alright. I did better that time. Now we pick up the uh, doll from Chrono's house. Blasting magic. Let's make sure he gets. No. All right. This 
part of the game is pretty tough. But there's only a few enemy types. First obstacle. So the enemies here are pretty tough, but they're also fairly simple and direct. You just bombard them with heavy magic. So. They also do a lot of damage. They also give out a lot of XP and a lot of tech points. Which is good, because I need to, uh... Oh! Now let's check the tech on Frog. I know he's almost... Okay. Nah, this party needs to level up their attacks more, so let's just let them do most of the groundwork here. But when we get to the lava spawn... Yeah, three or more of those guys will just drop a magic on them. But if it's two, just melee them. Alright, definitely drop magic. Lavos' babies. You do not want to use area attacks on it. You want to use very specific attacks. There he is. Let's take a look at what attacks are available. Okay. Now, this is going to be a rough fight. Yo, 
yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, man? You know, fulfilling a promise to my kids, doing the Chrono Trigger playthrough thing, and they are going to get good information. I have a question for you. How is it? How is your viewership for that going on the YouTube end? Out of curiosity. <laughs> It's kind of mid to low end, but I don't mind. As long as you get new people, I think that's kind of a good thing. I have a newer friend who's just started streaming on Twitch. He's got a couple of new followers, you know, here and there. It's besides us friends, so he's he's getting his roots, I guess is what you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Well. You know, here's the thing. Anybody who wants to come watch, you're welcome to do so. Like, I ain't your dad. If you want to be here, thank you for being here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a... Oh, yeah. I get it. I get it. Alright. Now, let's switch. Ma uh, Magus, who I re renamed to Jonas because that's his canonical name as a kid. He's good at crowd control for this part. Plus, he needs tech points. Oh! Now, that's just good to hold on to for Frog in subsequent playthroughs. I've already did the mission to fully empower the Masa Moon, so that extra sword is just simply an extra sword now. <laughs> but hey! Every little bit helps, right? Yeah. Because there's parts in the game where Frog won't have the Masa Moon. So having a spare sword is good. I don't think I've ever been here before. This is the mission to uh, bring Chrono back to life after he's killed. Right. So if you do the mission, pull it off. You'll be given a chance to switch Chrono with the Doppelganger doll right at the critical moment before Chrono's death. Right. So. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, Basically, so no spoilers for first time players, even though this game is like, what, over 30 years old? Yeah. If you don't know by now. <laughs> But this is for my kids, basically. Because they haven't played the game yet. If you beat the mission, you get the opportunity to rescue Chrono at the critical moment. So you don't technically bring him back from the dead. You pull him away from the moment that kills him right at the last second. Which is equally funny. Alright. This is why I stock up on shelters. Because I use them a lot. Alright. Now, I can fight him if I want to, and I think I will. Let me equip... Magus with a better weapon. That's free XP right there, so I'll take it. And free tech points. Again, I'm trying to build my characters that I don't use as often. I'm trying to build them up. And, okay. There we go. Now, if I wanted to end the fight quicker, I would change the party composition, but I want to level up this party and get them strong. What the hell is that? That is a Lavos Bebe. AKA Lavos Spawn. Target the head only. Do not try to target any other part of the body. Because the counter attack oh, is, The counter attack is nasty. So it's similar to the old uh what do you call it uh 
that was that monster Yakara. Oh no, this is not the same. Lavos is the big bad in this game, and this is his baby. No, I'm talking about the Kenra attack thing. Uh huh. So yeah, you don't use airy attacks, you just specifically target the head. Trying to knock out my cave woman. Alright, let's make sure everybody's HP is up. He's about to do a uh, mass attack. Oh, he didn't do it. This is around the time where he shoots all the needles at everybody. Oh, there it goes. That hurts a lot. Um. So yeah, just target the head. Got him. Uh, yeah. There we go, and Arla just learned a new tech. Alright, party. Swap them back out. Magus is good for crowd control. Basically, don't fall off the trail. You can fall. It'd be a pain in the butt. Oh. Oh. I'm just here to farm some XP. This is a great place to farm XP and tech points. Forty tech points. When you get five of them on the screen. There we go. And he is finally starting to be less mad and decent. Alright. Oh yeah. He's almost got Frog Squash, and he'll have all of his techs. So these are the four characters I have left who don't have all of their techniques. And I can just keep fighting these as long as I want. But I do want to like further the story. I'm feeling a bit impatient. Yep, push the shell, climb the shell, got it. Time to swap out the party. Frog. Alright, last enemy. Let's grab that elixir. Now let's try to charm. It may cause an immediate counterattack. So let's just have nope. And it didn't like that. <laughs> that's what it does if you hit the shell. And that's like half my health gone right there.
pound the head now. That'll do it. Alright, just for purpose of the story, I like having both Marl and Luca in the party for this moment. Push the shell. Now push the shell. I can't remember, was there anything over here? No. Alright, here's the moment. There's Chrono, let's get him. Let's bring him back. I love this part, getting Chrono back. Chrono is back, baby. Alright, so this original trio, they have all their tech points and abilities. Now, at this point in the game, if you're not sure what to do next, talk to this guy.
Let's swap out party members. I gotta get going. Got a sick kid to go pick up. You know how it goes sometimes. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy gaming.